I have a lot of requests for the tutorial of 2048. Actually, just one request. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright guys, we got this project in here. Uh, we have a board of spots you can see in here. And these spots have matrix. For example, this one has matrix of 1 and 1. And this one is 2, 3, 2 horizontally and 3 vertically and you can see that this one shows the score this one shows game over when when the game is over and uh, we have btn reset for resetting the game and we have this initial block and uh, in here we, we're gonna destroy that first okay so let's go into the game sheet you can see that uh, in a start we first uh, destroy the initial block then we make the game over object invisible and then we call this function which is in here <clears throat> to create two blocks on on random spots okay pick a random spot then we're gonna uh, create the block on the spots position and we give the matrix of a spot to block you can see in here and then we make the size and opacity to zero and using these uh, twin actions, we make it uh, somehow pop up, uh, just like a pop-up animation, and uh, we make it big, okay? And you can see that uh, these two initial blocks has frame one, which means <clears throat> number two. And uh, this one uh, is about creating random blocks uh during the game gameplay okay so we will uh pick a random spot which is uh which uh is not overlapping block and then we create the block set matrix set animation frame you can see in here choose between these four numbers and that means we have 75 percent chance of number two and 25 percent chance of getting number four this two means number four you can see that in here uh, frame number two is four, okay? <clears throat> and we do the pop-up animation for the block and after that <clears throat> we have this uh, event to know that if all uh, if we filled the filled the board and had uh, 16 blocks, then we need to check the possibility of game over Okay, let's go to the next uh, group Inside, we can see that we need to check uh, to see if blocks are moving and if they're not and if the game is not over, we have two options to do this to, to do the swipe, okay? <clears throat> we have option one which works with uh, mouse and touch and in here you can see that we start touch, get the uh, first touch of the player and when we are uh, touching we get uh, we have this condition that if the distance between first touch and the start uh, and the current touch was bigger than this number or this variable so at max distance then we need to find out which direction is uh, the player swiping okay so using this uh, events and actions we can find out uh, what is swipe direction and uh, it, it will be something like 0, 90, 180, 270 for swipe direction, okay? And after, all, after the touch end, uh, we check this again, we check the distance between current touch and start touch and if uh, it was bigger than this distance, we call this uh, move blocks to move the blocks <laughs> and we have the same uh, condition for keyboard keyboard keys arrow keys and you can see that top uh, top one goes for swipe direction to 2070 and to 270 and move uh, the blocks and you can see for other uh, other directions let's go to the move blocks this is the function that we call in this group and you can see that first we reset everything for blocks and spots 
the, the important things that need, that need to be reset and after that we check for each side and you can see that for example if side direction is right side for each block from left and from right to left and uh, several stuff that I meant uh, that I commented in here and you can uh, read about it and know about it and uh, these actions and events help us to merge move and uh, set the position for blocks to go to the uh, spots position and actually some of them needs to uh, some of them needs to have new number or merge and some of them needs to delete some of them needs to just move without doing anything and we do these events uh, for each side and uh, I explained in here okay and we have this main function that we call move block to a spot we, uh, we give it uh, we give a block ID spot UID and a tag and this function will do uh, the movement from the blocks position to the spots position and uh, does the matrix thing and uh, does the important things for uh, blocks okay and you can see that when uh, when when our twin with op tag finished we need to add to animation frame of block and we set a score and uh, we make this size animation or scale animation for our block when the merge or uh, the new number animation done okay so in here you can see that we have this tag del finished then we need to destroy the, uh, the block and we have a main uh, variable that calls blocks moving okay we uh, we actually call this we actually make it one when when in uh, when a block goes to a new position and we need to make it uh, zero or reset it after all animation all movements of blocks done okay so here we say if all uh, the merge the delete the movement of blocks done then we need to create a random new block which I explained in here we call this for creating a new block and then we reset blocks moving and that's it for this group and for game over uh, that we call it in here you can see check game over here we say uh, we need to check all blocks neighbors okay so we have to check every block we have and see if it has a, a similar block next in the next side okay so if it has then we have there is a chance to one okay we we make this to one and uh, we don't need to make the game over but after all blocks uh, checked and there is no chance there is no similar neighbor found we need to call this game over and here you can see that the game is over and we make the, uh, the game over object visible and in here in reset we make the game reset okay and local storage we use local storage for saving best score uh, for having it in the next gameplay we open the game and see the score uh, see the best score and here we show a score and text uh, and best score in the next line and here we set best score and save it in local storage if a score was bigger than best score okay so that's it you can enjoy it you can have fun with the uh, gameplay and uh, learn more about it thanks for watching have a great day